now I'm higher. Higher or taller or bigger or Yeah, I'm just looking down on you guys. <laughs> Let's go. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new and if you're new, please subscribe, like this video or share this video and leave a comment. And in today's video, we have an almost identical combo. Uh, first Hyperion, Super Hyperion. Both have 1A, but we have different height drivers. So Jaggy Dash and Hi Jaggy Dash. So what are we going to do in this video? Well, if we battle both of them, we won't really know which is better. But you'll have a better understanding of their performance once we battle it with a shorter opponent. So basically, if it's regular Jaggy, I mean regular Jaggy Dash, the height, um, the ring of the opponent, I mean the layer of the opponent hits in between the chassis and the layer and the ring. But if we are going to use the high Jaggy, it's going to be the chassis that's hitting the ring more. So, which is going to be better? This is not really like a comparison where it is finding out which is better. Basically, we're analyzing where a high driver would be more better use. You, you, you understand? For example, you're battling a short combo. And you have a combo which the contact points for the attack is better on the chassis than the ring. Then that would be an indication to use the higher driver. If, for example, you want the ring to hit the blade blade more, then you use a shorter driver. So let's see the difference in performance. Let's start with the Jaggy Dash against a left spin. So basically it's the in-between of the ring and the chassis which hits the layer of the wizard layer. Try it again. This time I won't tilt launch it. Just so it will be even. Because there is still a chance that if it kind of tilt launch, I mean, if the opponent may blade tilts, then it's going to hit the 1A, but not that much. So you can observe how much recoil that produces. Now, let's use the taller one where. The one H I C would hit the wizard layer more. And it's not hitting it because it's moving around. Cool. But as you can see, there is far more recoil. And the thing that I've observed about the high driver is they get the stabilized easier, more easier. I mean, easier compared to the shorter versions. So that's something you have to take note of. They lose more stamina. And we actually got two clicks from the wizard. Compared to the shorter Jaggy Dash, we didn't, we didn't even have clicks from that combo. See it easily dies down. There, two clicks. Let's try again the shorter Jaggy before we proceed with the right spin. So both produces recoil, but as we have observed, the taller, I mean the high Jaggy combo, exposes the 1A more and the 1A has a better contact point than the ring. Almost close in terms of stamina. Compared to this has more stamina because it's shorter, I think. 
Just one more. And then let's proceed with the right spin. There's still some recoil but not as much as when we were using high jaggy. And there is no clicks whatsoever with our wizard combo. See? So definitely, the 1A hitting the wizard layer produced more attack power, recoil, and clicks compared to the shorter version because of the height difference so again if the in one indication of using the high driver is if you want the chassis to hit the opponent's ring more compared to your own ring now let's try right spin we will start with the high jack Again. Actually, the Tempest XT Plus is a lot taller compared to the Wizard combo that we use there. So, it may not be as effective, but it would still be hit by the 1A. But now it's in between rather than being leveled. Because with the wizard, it was leveled here. Now it's going to be in between. And if we use the shorter version, that's just going to hit. Before it was in between, now it's just going to be hitting the ring. So let's try that again. With a taller jaggy. Okay. There's two clicks from Super Hyperion. Let's try that with. Actually, that's like the first time I've seen this awaken with a hit. Hmm. Let's try the shorter version where it's just the ring that's going to hit the other ring. So this is going to be Tempest versus First. The 1A is not hitting it whatsoever unless of course they tilt. Back then, when high drivers were not existing, um, if you want the chassis to hit the opponent's ring, you have to tilt launch it or wait for your opponent's Beyblade to tilt and hit your chassis. So, definitely, the 1A wasn't doing any damage because it's just hitting the ring. So that's the comparison video for High Jaggy and regular Jaggy Dash. So if you want the chassis, a disc, or a frame to hit your opponent more than the ring, use a high driver. If you want the ring to hit your opponent more, use the regular high driver. Okay, now if you're against a tall driver already, like a tall combo, then again, it depends on which part you want to hit and which part you want to hit it with. So it's a good they made taller drivers and it gives you more options and always remember options are good. So thank you for watching. Oh yeah, let's battle these two. Just one round, let's see. I mean, it's, again, it's not an assessment of which is better. The video is basically more on how you're going to use, when you're going to use, 
the high drivers or the regular high drivers. Okay, so thank you for watching and on my next video, we are going to test blow and high blow. So, for all your Beyblades, just look at the description down below. Bye!